Hey guys, Rob Baldwin here, IMX Productions, 10 Minute Design, and welcome to a brand new tutorial from IMX Video and Design. Uh, if you're returning to the channel, you've probably noticed a few things have changed. Uh, our set, first of all. Um, this is going to be the new home of IMX Video Design. This is where, we, where this is going to be our official set, where we record all our, our videos. Obviously, a few things left to be doing. We have some paint, a little bit of drywall here, but... Don't worry, all of this will happen in due time. But in the meantime, the show must go on, so I figured we'd continue recording videos and make new tutorials. Uh, you may have noticed a few other things have changed. Our banner has changed, the name of the channel is now officially IMX Video and Design, um, and this will be our dedicated channel for Photoshop tutorials and video editing tutorials. So if you're a fan of our tutorials, then this is the channel for you. If in the past you've been a fan of our other content, such as our martial arts action films, our um, our stunt videos and things like that, we have uh, Pirates vs. Ninjas, Zombie Jitsu, those have been some of, the, some of the videos we've done in the past. The new home for those videos will be IMX Action Addicts, a brand new channel. You can check out that channel right here. There's no content yet, it's brand brand new, but, but subscribe to it. Hit the notification bell, and as soon as we have some new stuff, there'll be some great content on the channel. All right, well, let's jump right into the tutorial. Today, what we're doing is I've created this this lightsaber template file, and the idea is it's a, just a generic Photoshop uh, lightsaber template. And the idea is you can take this image and paste it onto any photo you have. Uh, if you're holding a toy lightsaber or even just a broomstick or a sword or anything, and you can add that glow to your image and really quickly create an authentic, uh, convincing lightsaber glow in just a few steps. And it saves you a lot of the work because I've done most of the work here. Okay, so the link is below in the description. You can go to the website, download um, that file, and then um, come back here and I'll show you how to do this. Let's, uh, so let's jump right in. So here's the file, here's what you're getting. So the first thing you wanna do is select the entire canvas. It's just a flat image. We're gonna hit Command and Control C for copy. And then here's our image. Here's a photo of me and my crew. We're doing a lightsaber seminar a couple years back. So we're just gonna paste that image on. And then what we wanna do is start scaling it. Actually, before that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna change the blending option to screen. There we go. Be a little bigger. Oh, actually too big. So you just wanna match it to the, the original blade. Just turn it, make it fit. Obviously, if your blade is too thick, you might run into some issues, but other than that, it should fit perfectly. There we go, like that. So stop, and there we go. Now we're gonna hold command, or Option or Alt, and we're gonna drag to create a new layer. And this is gonna be our second saber, so we're just gonna rotate to fit the second blade. The second blade seems to be a little smaller, so we'll just drag that down. It'll extend a bit above, that's not a big deal. try to cover the original blade. You might run into some issue like here where we're not covering perfectly. Uh, we can always fix that later. Now we're gonna hit uh, Command and Control U to bring up the hue and saturation. And this is how we can alter the color. So I want a blue on this one. So move it to blue and up that saturation. Hold it in front of the black here so you can really see what it looks like. There we go. And all right. Like I said, try to cover the original blade as much as you can. Looking good. Well, let's hold Command or, or Option or Alt again. Let's drag and create a new one. Our last layer for the front. Twist and turn that around. Scale it up a little bit. This one's a little bigger forward more. Cover the blade as best you can. And hit Command and Control U one more time. Hit Colorize, we're going with a red blade here. Perfect, just like that. Now you may notice in this particular image, um, the blue does not come out that strong. That's because there's a lot of light in the background. So there's a quick fix we can do for that. What we're gonna do is we're gonna hit a quick uh, adjustment layer. So we're gonna come here and add curves. And actually we want the curves below the lightsaber layers, right above the image. And we're just gonna darken the image a little bit. And that's going to make the lightsaber, especially the blue, pop a little more. But now our images are, are quite dark. So with the mask selected, we're just going to come back here and grab a brush. Make sure it's a fairly large brush. Even larger. It's going to the thousands. There we go. And then uh, opacity, yeah. And we want it black because we want to mask out. And then just go over our characters here 
to bring back some of that light. So we've darkened up here, but down here we want to keep it fairly lit. Okay, that's looking pretty convincing. Um, so as you can see, a few seconds we took it, we took up that layer, we created three separate versions. Just that simple. Let's do one more. I'll show you how easy it is again. So let's come back here, Command and Control C. Here we have an image of Brienne of Tarth from Game of Thrones that just ended. Um, comment below, let me know what you thought of the finale. I have mixed feelings about it, but uh, not gonna get too much into reviewing right now. Let's get back to it. So let's paste. We're gonna bring it down. Okay, well, let's change this to screen, blending option, and then let's, ooh, made it a little too small. Bring that up. Go. We just want to match the image as best as we can. That's it. That's looking good. Okay, here, Command and Control U. Let's go with a purple for this blade. I love Mace Windu. If you have trouble with the colors, just hit colorize. It makes it a lot easier to hit the proper color that you want. There we go. There we go, nice purple. Perfect. Now, another uh, trick you can do once you've added the, uh, the blade is uh, to add a little bit of, of cast cast off color. So a, a real lightsaber, obviously it's light, so it would, it would throw off some color. Um, so we can easily, really easily achieve that by doing a few things. So we're gonna add a new layer. We're gonna grab a brush. Actually, we're gonna grab the eyedrop tool first and we're gonna grab that purple color, the same purple color as the lightsaber. Now we wanna make our brush quite a bit smaller. And what we wanna do, opacity pretty low, is kinda of paint where you think the glow would throw off some color. So maybe shining off the armor, off her face. That, maybe a little down here. And then we're gonna duplicate the layer and we're gonna add another layer behind it and we're gonna fill that one black. So here, these are all the dots that we drew in. We're now gonna grab our three layers, so the two dot layers and the black layer and merge those. Hit Command and Control E to merge. And we're gonna change the blending mode to color, linear dodge add. And as you can see, it adds that nice glow in there. It's a little strong. So what we can do is back it off Back off the opacity a little bit. We're also going to throw a mask in there. And then the mask with a black layer, with a black brush, simply paint out where you think it went a little strong. So where you think our glow went just a tad too strong, just remove a little bit. Okay, so once again, pretty convincing picture using our lightsaber uh, template, and this literally took a minute and a half, so really easy to, to do this. Let's do one last one so I can convince you how easy this is. So back to our saber, command and controls uh, C. Sticking with our Game of Thrones theme, here's a picture of Jon Snow. I believe this is during the Battle of the Bastards. Now we rotate. And oh, once again, I always forget that step, but screen makes it easier to place the saber. I'm actually gonna increase the size of the saber here because he's quite close. And we're gonna come here and line up. There we go. Double click out of our mask. Okay, now command and control U add that color and let's you know let's let's pretend uh, John Snow went to the dark side here so let's go with a red blade and we're gonna do the same thing add a layer let's go grab a red brush do the same thing we did to the last photo is add some cast off color so right over the face here a little bit on the armor duplicate add a new layer place it behind and Fill it black, then merge those three layers we just created. Command and Control E to merge, and Linear Dodge Add. Now grab a black brush. Now right here you have to watch out because you're not ca you want the the cast off color has to be on the character, obviously not behind him. 
So, there we go. You want this to be a subtle effect, not too strong. So just a subtle effect there. There we go, I like that. Now last time we got out here, because he was really close to the camera, the lightsaber was really close, we could get creative with a lens flare. Now, a lot of people don't like lens flares. I'm a fan of them. So here I've got an image, here I've got some lens flares, uh, lens flares, excuse me, that I generated. Um, if you want to learn how to make lens flares in Photoshop, I have a tutorial that you can click the link right here, and it's going to show you exactly how I go about creating these really awesome flares. Let's get back to it. So, Command Control C, grab my flare, come back to my image, and paste that flare layer, and then scale it down and bring it up right in front. Like this. There we go, and we're going to change that to add one more time. Linear dodge add and colorize. And we're going to make this red. Okay, so nice little lens flare there adds a little bit of uh, theatricality, a little bit of, of style to our to our image. So as you can see, really easy using that template. Takes about two minutes to create a, a picture. Just bring it in, switch it to screen, align it with your sword or broomstick or whatever you're using, and then uh, hue and saturation to change the color. And then you can add a little bit of extras to it, like the, the cast off color or a lens flare or something like that. That's it for the, today's tutorial. Um, like I said, click on the link below, go to the website, download that, that uh, that lightsaber template for abs absolutely free. Uh, and while you're there, check out, we have a whole lot of other downloads. Many of them are free. So um, check out all, sor or sor all sorts of resources that we have on the website. As I mentioned, this is now uh, IMX Video and Design, our, our official tutorial channel. We have our um, uh, IMX Action Addicts channel, as well as our IMX Better Business channel, which is for our business videos. So please, if you're interested, if you love all of our content, go subscribe to those channels as well. There's no content yet. We're just getting started. We're just getting started, but there will be some stuff uh, soon. So, um, subscribe. We also have a new Instagram Instagram account, so that'll be linked below. Follow us on Instagram specifically for this channel. I also have my personal Instagram account that you could follow. Um, all that's linked below, uh, and we will see you next time. Cheers.